Ladies and gentlemen, this is the right sign HIV single use test kit. The test kit consists of a HIV test cassette with a dropper, a single use cassette, the instruction manual, the buffer solution, and a swab for disinfecting. The test cassette consists of this and has an indication where the sample is placed under S, where you have your control line and your test for T1 and T2, which is HIV uh, 1.0 and HIV 2. The lancet is what you will use to um, prick yourself. And the buffer solution is what you will then use to dilute your sample when you after you put it into the um, test cassette. The instruction manual contains important information on the test, the principle of use, its precautionary notes, how you conduct the test, and how you will then evaluate the results of the test. The information about the test, how it's conducted, is also repeated on the box that the test come with and the box itself has indication of the batch number including the expiry date for the test as you can see this test will expire in the 16th of march 2024 the way the test is interpreted is once you've entered the sample um, you will then get an indicator on the strip on top and if the control is um, line is activated including T1 and T2 or T1 or T2 then the test is positive you will then have to do a follow-up test which will be full bloods which will confirm these test results for HIV if the test is negative it will indicate with one line on the control or C. If the test is invalid, it will, the test will be invalid if the control line for C is not activated during your test. There is either if it indicates on T1 and T2 or T1 or T2 or there's no indication, then the test is invalid and you have to redo another test or alternatively do a full blood test. When you do the test, you first will put the test cartridge on a flat surface. The next step would be to open your buffer solution by removing the top part and put it on a clean surface. This is the opened buffer solution. Then the next step would be for you to open the lancet. The lancet is opened by removing the top of the lancet and you put it on a clean surface. The next step is to wipe off or clean the area where you will take the where you prick your own finger by using the alcoholic pad. After cleaning the area where you will take the test, which will be your finger. You will then prick yourself with the lancet by pressing it firmly against your finger. And After collecting the sample, you add and you put it into 
the area where the sample goes in to the test followed by the buffer solution and thereafter we will wait for once this and thereafter you have done the solution you will wait then for five minutes you should observe the solution enter the the test kit After five minutes or so, you then will observe the test results. As you can see from these results, the line which is visible is a line along the C or control. There is no line in the T1 or T2. And that will be deemed as your test results, which would indicate an HIV negative test. It is to be noted that the test results are not credible after 20 minutes that is how we then you disposal of a medical um, waste such as this should be as follows you reinsert everything into your paper sheets and you put the stuff back into your box and thereafter in a plastic bag you can then dispose it accordingly these home tests are available um, from um, clicks and discam were under a different name um, they cost approximately 200 rand Alternatively, you can call Africa Medical Supplies. It's a company in Cape Town that sells this specific test for 30 rand.